Happy 3D Thursday, and in this video we will be talking about using acetone to smooth ABS prints out. So we are going to go take a trip down to my garage and uh, we are going to go polish and smooth out some ABS prints, so let's go do that. Also, be very careful when using acetone and be sure to wear proper safety equipment to protect yourself from any danger. All right, guys, so here we are. Uh, we're in my garage. So if you hear any echoes or weird noises, it's because I'm in my garage. So um, I have the lights set up, which is good. It was a little bit hard to do that, but I managed uh, to get everything fit in. So we are gonna be taking a look at how we can smooth these ABS prints and make them stronger. So let's jump into it. So first we're gonna just be going over the different materials you need to stay safe. Um, so the first thing I have is uh, a pair of safety glasses. You need safety glasses, you do not want the acetone to get in your eyes. So you need safety glasses. You're also gonna need a mask because uh, you don't wanna be inhaling the fumes from this. It's not toxic, but it's just not good to inhale either. Um, the last thing you'll need is a pair of safety gloves. Um, I reuse these, I just wash them. As you can see, there is some plastic on there, but I just wash it and I stay safe. So now let's get on to the materials that you'll need in order to smooth these prints out. All right, so now we're gonna go over the parts that you absolutely need in order to smooth ABS prints out. First thing is acetone. Um, you could use 100% acetone, like CVS sells it. I just bought this, it's uh, used for removing rust, but this really works uh, well. And it was like $5 on Amazon, I'll put the link down in the description, and it is uh, one quart, so it's pretty big very cheap and be careful with this stuff. The next thing we have is a brush. Uh, you can use a paintbrush or whatever, uh, just make sure it doesn't have any ABS parts to it or else it will melt. Uh, this is a brush I got from like this tool set, I don't know. It's the only brush I have lying around in my house, so I'm glad I found it because before I was filming this video, I was gonna use a toothbrush because I couldn't find this. But use, uh, get a brush for coating the prints uh, with acetone. The last thing you'll need is uh, some prints. Uh, these were some prints and uh, early in the earlier in the video uh, you saw this uh, printing. So they came out really well. It's just a owl. I commonly print this as a test print and then I also have a 20 millimeter cube. It's actually not 20 millimeters because I had to scale it down but it will work also. So um, now I'm going to go over what environment you should be doing this in and uh, what other materials you'll need. The last thing you will need is a container to house all of this in. So this was my first container that I used for smoothing parts. It's just a cardboard box and I cut a hole in it so with two layers of this uh, saran wrap so that I could see the different parts. Because at first I was going to use the fumes to melt the outer layer but it didn't work. So then I started painting it on and that seemed to work the best. Inside I have some paper towels and I normally have a plastic bag down here because I put the prints there and they normally stick to that and then there's paper on it. Uh, then I used an old uh, dish uh, from like a uh, food order or something like that and this works really well and that's where I put the acetone. Um, and then it's all sealed up uh, and uh, I can watch it but I do not use this anymore. I'll show you what I use now. This is the container that I use now. It's a much bigger upgrade. This is much better. Um, I don't like how I can't see through the top, but that's fine. I can see through the sides. So it's a plastic box. I don't really use it. It's very cheap. And inside I have a plastic bag just to keep the prints from sticking. Uh, and then here I have a smaller container for the acetone. And uh, when I'm done, what I do is I pour the acetone in here and then I put the paintbrush in, maybe I'll stick the print in there for a little bit. And then after that, I put the top on, 
and I just stick it in here and I put the prints on the side, close it all up and I leave it in here for uh, a day. And uh, overnight everything uh, hardens and gets stronger and the layers bond together and uh, everything looks shiny. So um, now let's uh, start making our prints shine. Okay, so I'm wearing my safety gloves and my mask uh, and uh, my glasses. So now we are gonna start polishing these up. So let's do that. All right guys, so right now um, we are going to pour the acetone into this container. So here we have the acetone. Um, so now we are gonna undo this and uh, hopefully get this off. Sometimes it does not work. Hopefully we can. Okay, so I took the cap off. It was pretty hard because this metal thing uh, comes out of here sometimes. So now we are gonna pour this in. That looks like enough. Um, sorry for the noise. Oh, it smells. All right. Okay, so now we are gonna start coating uh, these prints with the acetone, so let's go do that. All right guys, so now we are gonna start coating this. Uh, we're gonna start off with this cube, and uh, basically I'm gonna take this, and uh, I'm just gonna coat it now. So, uh, yeah. So basically what this does is it uh, bonds the layers together because it melts everything. And uh, when it melts it, it uh, smushes out the layers and it basically combines them and it makes everything stronger and uh, shinier because it's melting the layers. So it's pretty cool. Now what you can also do is you can also stick it in the acetone for like a second and just move it around uh, like I just did. and. Uh, that's one thing to do if you don't feel like uh, painting it on. So after that, we are gonna put on another layer, but for now, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. You can't see anything yet. It does look a little shiny. And uh, you can see it's sticking to my fingers because it's melting. So we will come back to that later. And uh, now we'll do this owl. So now I'm just gonna dip this in for a second. Gonna get it all there and move it around. Get it in every crevice. There we go. Now we'll let it dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this box and I'm gonna put the acetone in. Now I'm gonna take these prints. I'm gonna set them down onto the plastic bag so that they don't stick. And uh, I'm gonna put the brush in here. Then I will put the lid back on and uh, I'll seal it all up and we'll come back in a day and hopefully everything will be stronger and look much better. All right guys, so um, here we have the finished product. Uh, this is after a day of sitting uh, with acetone on it, uh, the 3D printed object. So here we have the cube and uh, here we have the owl, the male owl. So first I'm just going to show you the cube. Uh, it came out pretty well. So um, it's pretty small also, but as you can see it's really hard to see the layers. And it's also very, very shiny, um, but otherwise it's kind of hard to see the layers for this object. It's called the male owl because it has a little thing of male on the back. 
But anyways, this came out also very well, um, and it came out much better than this did. Uh, as you can see, there's some white stuff right there. So in the little crevices and cracks, and I had to uh, glue this together. So that didn't come out as well, but that all compared to this later. So this is my uh, best attempt at this so far, because uh, at the bottom there's only one mistake, but otherwise everything is very evenly balanced. And uh, it's hard to tell that uh, it's it's hard to tell that this was 3D printed. The only spot uh, the, the only spot that you can see layers is uh, right here. Actually, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, hopefully, this will focus, but you can kind of see some layers there. And uh, it, it came out overall really well, and I'm very happy with it. Um, so now I'm going to show you my first attempt at this. So. This was my first attempt uh, at smoothing parts with acetone. This came out really bad, this first attempt. Uh, as you can see here, it's really dirty, it's wrinkly. I just paper the towel on here, and uh, this, uh, I was trying to bond two parts together, and this was a test, uh, it was a failed print on my cube. Uh, this is for my printer bot, and I wanted to try acetone uh, with this thing. So what I did was I just, First, I stuck this in the box uh, without putting anything on it because I heard that you, the vapors would uh, make this melt, but that didn't work. So then I coated it with the acetone and uh, it started to become shinier, but I made the mistake and uh, after two hours of letting it sit, it was dry, but it was very squishy. So I started messing around with it and like pushing it in and I was like, why is this squishy and stuff? And sh it shouldn't be, it should be stronger. So then after a day of sitting, it started to harden and became much stronger. Before I was able to bend this and it break, uh, but now it's much stronger. Uh, like I can't even bend the middle. It's super strong. You can barely see the layers. And also this whole part, this these were two pieces and uh, I managed to kind of bond them together uh, but that was the first attempt uh, then here's uh, the second attempt this was much better it's Kenny from South Park and uh, I printed it in two halves and uh, I just put a little bit of acetone on the outside and then I let it sit for a day and it seemed to polish pretty well and then I just uh, or it and then it seemed to uh, shine very well so so I was a little disappointed with how there were crevices with white stuff in it, and I think it's just leftover acetone that just sat there and kind of hardened or something like that. So it was uh, it was better than the first one, and as you can see, that's hot glue, so it didn't totally bond, and there's like this bubble at the top, so it didn't really work out um, as well as I planned it to be, but it's much better than the first one. And then here is my last attempt. Uh, I showed you this earlier, but as you can see, it's a m much better uh, quality item than the previous one. So yeah, it turned out very well, and I'm very happy with this. So as you can see, the parts came out really well, and I'm very happy with, uh, with the outcome. So um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And uh, please stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully I will be unboxing the FlashForge Creator Pro soon. And uh, I'll release that video and hopefully I can review that printer. And maybe we'll be doing a review of carbon fiber uh, PLA from Protopasta. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, leave a like down below. And uh, as always, uh, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys um, in the next video. Bye.